Good morning, beautiful people. How are you? Happy New Year. Where have you been? <laughs> Where have I been? Just taking a little break, but I am back. I am back in front of the camera and let's get busy. Happy New Year's to you. I am so excited. If you don't know what this channel is, my name is Linda Sims. I am the Who That Teacher. And at this on this channel, we just I break down line dances step by step. And at the end of the video, I post this video, I post the demo so we can dance along together. So if you like this channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, okay? If you are someone you know is interested in cardio and line dancing classes in the New Orleans area, please call 504-251-0674. So guys, I am so excited to tell you some great news. Yes, the NOLA Southern Experience four-day weekend here in New Orleans, July the 11th through the 14th, 2024. Yes, you can go to our website right now, read about the event, and you can book your room. Registration does not open until June 1st of this year, 2023. But you have more than enough time to get all the information, get your people together, and let's do it next year in New Orleans. The NOLA Southern Experience, July the 11th through the 14th, 2024. You can go to our website and check everything out. And check, you can click on the link and register for your room, okay? So guys, I see you. I see you registering for your rooms already. Thank you so kindly for your support. Please take your time, read the, all the entire details. NOLA Southern Experience. I will not send you an email. I will not send you anything. Everything is at our website, www.lmiunola.com. Yes. We're going to sell out. This is our fourth year, and we always sell out. We have a, a wait list. Unfortunately, we can't get to people on the wait list because nobody is canceling registration. So go ahead and prepare your group. Go and check that out at the website. So this next line dance I'm going to teach you is called uh, G-Bop Easy. Okay, so it's an easy peasy for your beginners. And come on, let's do it. It is a four wall dance. So we're going to do the same step at all four walls and it moves counterclockwise. So that means when we turn the dance and start all over again, it'll start on the, the wall to the left, okay? So uh, it starts with a shuffle up on the right and shuffle up on the left and then rock it out. So here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Right, left, right, left, right, left, rock, right. Left, right, left. Easy enough, right? Okay, so my weight is on the left and my heel is, is up, so I'm a lock step back. Right, left, right, back, left, right, left, rock it out again. Right, left, right, left. So basically, those steps move you forward and then they're going to move you back. Shuffling up on the right and the left, rock it out for four. And then come back with a lock step on the right and the left and locking it out. Let's do it again. Five, six, seven, and shuffle right, left, right. Left, right, left, rock, right, left, right, left. Back, right, left, rock, left, right, left, rock, right, left, right, left. Okay? So that was a lock step. Step, lock, step. Step, lock. Okay, now from here we're going to just move to the right, move to the left. So you can do two steps to the right or you can do a vine, okay, whichever you prefer. One, two, three, tap, four, five, six, seven, out, eight. Okay, so that's something different. When we come back to the left, we're going to tap out. That tap out is important. To, for us to do our transition for the next step, okay? So we bind to the right, we bind to the left, and then we're going to tap out on the right for our trans transition to the next step. Here we go. Bind to the right, bind to the left. One, 
two, three, tap, four, five, six, seven, out, eight. Okay? So let's put that together moving forward with that shuffle. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two, three and four, rock. Five, six, seven, eight, lock. One and two, three and four, rock. Five, six, seven, eight, bind. One, two, three, tap. Four, five, six, seven, out, eight. Now here we're gonna do three sailor steps. On the right, one and two, left, three and four, five and six. We're going to use that, that last one to do a quarter turn, and it's going to be a coaster step. Coaster step. Okay? Coaster step is bring it back and then bring it up. Left, right, left. Okay? And then that'll prepare you to put that weight on the left and to shuffle up, starting to dance over again. So the heel is out. It's right, left, right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, quarter turn with our right shoulder going forward. Left, right, left. So some people might say you're doing four sailor steps. I'm going to say it's a coaster step. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, coaster step. Okay? So it could be either one, okay? So that's the dance. So I'll instruct us. I like to count also because when I'm videotaping, I'm doing different dances at the, the same, um, in the same taping. So sometimes I get one dance confused with the other. I might leave out a step, but this is a 32 count. So I know if I count my steps, I know if I've left anything out. So this is 32 count. So let me let me, which is four eight counts. So let me count it out to make sure I have my 32 counts. Here we go, shuffling up on the right. Five, six, seven, eight. Shuffle one and two, three and four. Rock five, six, seven, eight. Lock one and two. Back three and four. Rock five, six, seven, eight. Bind one, two, three. Tap four. Left five, six, Seven out eight is one and two, three and four, five and six turns, seven and eight. So that's that's my four eight counts. So that's what makes it a 32 counts. So I'm pretty sure that's the steps that go to that dance that I didn't pull anything out of another dance, okay? So get get uh, used to counting, you know, not only doing your steps, but counting, okay? Let's do it one more time. So when you turn to this wall, let's do it on this wall. So we did a coaster step. From here, we start back over, shuffling it up on your right. Five, six, seven, eight. Shuffle one and two, three and four. Rock five, six, seven, eight. Lock one and two, three and four. Rock five, six, seven, eight. Line one, two, three, tap four, left five, six, Seven out eight. Sailor one and two. Sailor three and four. Five and six. Quarter seven and eight. Okay? So, I'll ask my class, I say, what is the next wall? Okay? Where are we going? Okay? So, I'm, I'm kind of getting them to teach themselves to dance. If I say, say that the dance is counterclockwise, I want them to understand that process, okay? So instructors, challenge your your um, your students to say, if you tell them if it's a full wall dance and it's kind of rock a clockwise, what is the next wall, okay? So they can understand the process. That's the beginning of going from a bit, uh, uh, novice beginner to an uh, intermediate beginner. They need to understand the concept of, um, a four wall dance, a two wall dance, a one wall dance, a quarter turn, clockwise, uh, counterclockwise, they need to understand that process. When you go to the left, it's counterclockwise. When you move to the right, it's clockwise. And, in the, and if I say this dance is counterclockwise, that means when the dance starts all over again. It doesn't mean in between me dancing and I'm turning, making turns. That doesn't mean that. Counterclockwise, when I make 
Start this dance over, what wall am I at? So if I'm here, and when I start over, I'm here, that's a two wall dance, okay? If I start to dance here and go to each wall, that's a four wall moving counterclockwise. If I turn it here and go to each wall, that's a four wall dance clockwise. Counterclockwise is to your left, clockwise is to your right, okay? So that's the process that they, they need to understand that to move to the next level of teaching a line dance, okay? So that is, um, let me see, I forgot the uh, name of the dance already. <clears throat> G Bop Easy, okay? So at the end, I'll pin the demo. Remember, most of these, on, if you're on my instructional page, Linda Sims, I'm going to do the instructional uh, separate from the demo. So the demo will have the instructional at the end and the instructional have the demo at, at the end so we can dance together. So that's it. Make sure you share the information about the NOLA Southern Experience four day live dance weekend in New Orleans. I would love to see you instructors. I would love to see your group. This is your personal invite from me, July the 11th through the 14th, 2024. Please take your time because we roll out in different phase. This phase right here is your hotel. You go into our website, read about the event, and um, book your room. You can book your room right now. Then on June 1st, you can do your registration, and then you have the following year to prepare for your transportation and come in and have a wonderful time. Please visit our website at www.lmiunola.com. My name is Linda Sims. I am your Who That teacher from New Orleans, Louisiana. I thank you for watching, and I know I'm going to see you the next time. Bye-bye.